What is up everyone? Today we're going to be talking about how to assign the pitch bend range to your joystick on the Nautilus. So we're going to be diving in with a really cool synth face patch here. So let's check it out. Now for this example, I'm going to be in program mode and I have a really cool synth bass patch called up that is using the AL1 sound engine on Nautilus, which is a really awesome analog modeling sound engine. And you'll notice that if I press, I'm going to play a note, my pitch bend up is going to go up a whole step. And going down, you'll notice that it drops a full octave. Now, while the octave is really cool for some synth bass lines, let's say I don't want it to drop down a full octave uh, when I go to the left with my joystick. How do we change that? The first thing to note is that this will vary depending on what sound engine is being used on the Nautilus. So I'm going to put up here in the video, as well as in the description, the different page numbers to check out on your Nautilus manual that will show you how to change this parameter depending on what sound engine you are using. To know which sound engine you are using, you'll simply look in the left hand bar here and you'll see that this particular program is using AL1 for both oscillators. So the first thing we'll do to go ahead and edit this is click anywhere in this box here, which will bring me into the edit pages of that specific oscillator. The other way I can get to that screen is by clicking the page button on Nautilus and I can go ahead and go to AL1 and then I can click where it says oscillator pitch. The next thing we're going to do is go to the pitch common tab here and you'll notice that there is a parameter here for joystick plus X, so in the right direction, and joystick minus X. So you'll see that minus X is currently set to minus 12, that's minus 12 semitones, which is why it's dropping a full octave. I'll move that up to minus 2, so we have the same in the right and left direction when I change the joystick. But let's see what happens. Something weird's happening there. You're hearing that part of it went down a half step, but the other part stayed going down the full octave. So the reason why this isn't affecting the total patch is that in this specific program, there are two sound engines that are being used. So if we click the exit button and get back to our main page, don't forget we have the AL1 engine being used a second time. So we need to change that oscillator as well. So we'll go back in, click just like we did with the first one, go to the pitch common tab, and there it is. We have the minus 12 value for the second oscillator. So we'll go ahead and put that to minus 2. And now you'll notice that both of the oscillators used in this specific program are now changing by two semitones in both directions. Now, like I mentioned before, this will vary depending on what sound engine you're using on the Nautilus. So let's just go to the next patch. You'll see that this one happens to use the Mod 7 sound engine. So obviously you can follow the guide from the manual. We put the pages in the description, but let's say I need to edit it. I can click the page button. And from this page, you're going to see we'll click Mod 7 and we will go ahead and click Oscillator. Now once we're in the Oscillator page, you'll see that it's a little bit different location because it is a different sound engine we're using, but there we have the same joystick plus X and joystick minus X to affect both directions. So if I change, let's say the minus, let's put that as minus 12 to drop a full octave, or I can set it to minus two. So depending on what sound engine will depend on where this is, but be sure to check the description to find exactly how to do that. Once again, this is Luciano with Korg, and thanks for watching.